What's up, Infected? Welcome to the Quarantine. I have another unboxing for you for what I only assume is Heart of Crown. Now, I did also get a few uh, additional add-ons and stuff, uh, so let's just dive into it. The only thing I've tampered with is the shipping label here uh, for privacy reasons. Uh, other than that, uh, my daughter does have some friends over right now, so if there's any quick jumps in the cut, I'm not going to be revealing anything or opening anything that's not on camera. Uh, it would just be one of them walked into the room or whatever. So anyways, let's just dive into it here. So I Have been super stoked to get heart of crown and I probably could have gotten it a little bit sooner than today, but um, I was out of town for a while uh, for my birthday and I had him delay shipping and stuff like that. So All right, let's Well, I should probably Okay, there's nothing in it. I was going to say, I should probably check with that. Let's... Uh, any personal information on here? Probably, but... Um, let's go ahead and... My packing sheet that has all the crap that I got. So let's throw that over here. So I got a Heart of Crown... Um, clay mat. Neato. No, that's Tato Cory International. Okay, Neato. It's also Neato. So let's, so we got the Far East Territory. Now I've been super excited to play Heart of Crown. Let's see, we got a nice fancy, super sexy velvet bag. Oh, that's right, I think they shipped my uh, Tantacori International stuff with it. So I, I got the promos for Tantacori International. This is... I don't know, I guess we'll open those in a second. Let's put those over here. Uh, more promos, full-size color, neato. And promos for, I'm only assuming, Heart of Crown. Then I got a pin. I never know what to do with these pins. I just have a pile of them in, kind of in the bedroom. <laughs> and here's the other one. There's the other, the Northern, or the, yeah, Northern Enchantress expansion. And the base box. Fancy. So let's throw this over here and I think, yeah, that's everything. So we're going to throw this over here. Yeah, nothing hidden in there. So we got a fancy velvet. Ooh, that is fancy. It's got that really nice like silk inside. Super sexy. All right. So let's see. Do we want to open these, oh, there's a big glare on that when I lay them flat down like that. Lame. So I'm using my, I'm testing a little couple tricks for the lighting on my, I'm reflecting it off of the ceiling, so I guess that makes sense why it's this way, because I wanted it to be a little more diffused than it was. So I guess we're just testing these, so we'll do it. There we go, we'll set those like this for now. Um, so let's just dive into these first, the Atanto Kori. I forgot that they said they were going to ship these together. It's just full color art for some of the maids. Love me some Tanto Kori. And these ones here. Let's... Ow, my razor. Maybe I need to... Oh wait, actually, there is a ha-ha! My razor probably also needs to get changed, so let's, I'll do that later, that's future me's problem. So let's see what some of the artwork here is. Ooh, I like her, who's that, Canada? Who's the, I'm assuming that's Germany, Canada, uh, UK, I'm guessing, um, India or something, who knows, um, France. Uh, not, oh, um, where is the Leaning Tower of Pisa? I don't, I feel ashamed. I should probably know that. Um, oh, nice. Oh, I like that one. Fancy. So, guessing that is all for, uh, the Tatokoi. Let's put those over there. I'll have to get them into some sleeves, and let's get a better look at that pin here. I have to get them into some sleeves. My brain does not want to process how a camera works. 
And we will open these ones later. Let's put those there. So I will put this down and we'll do the unboxing on this. Sasa. All right. So let's, um, oh look, I got a tear in my plastic. Doesn't look like it's damaged the box or anything, so that's fine. So, fancy schmancy. I've been super hyped for uh, Heart of Crown. I almost imported this from Japan. I can't even tell you how many times. And I'm glad I held off because then I would have just bought it twice. Kind of like how I, <laughs> I, uh, with, what is it, Dynamite Nurse, but, you know, I didn't have to buy the new version, but still. All right, so, nice. Is this like a, is that a linen finish? No. Yeah, it is. Fancy. Okay. Rule book. So, we'll just kind of randomly jump around in here. Japan Anime Games usually has pretty decent rule books. Um, I'm a big fan of a lot of their games, so, or a lot of the games they kind of either have made or have imported. And their rule books usually aren't too bad, so. Definitely seen worse, but usually minor questions. Um, so we got separators, the big plastic things, so we can separate the cards here. We got one big, oh, big fat block of foam. I wish they would cut these up, but I mean, I'll probably do that. That way you can adjust how much space you have left rather than just one giant block, but whatever. I should probably not throw that over there because I'm probably going to need it at least for now. So we got three stacks of cards and it looks like they have those pull things on them. So that way, even though they're shrink wrapped, they are not my worst enemy. So what is this? Oh, more blank dividers. So here, so we got another one. I might adjust this my lighting because apparently reflecting it off the ceiling. I thought that was going to be a cool idea because I saw it somewhere, but either I'm not doing it right or I don't know. And then we got, oh, coins is plastic coins. So those look neat. Are they all double sided like that? Because some of them look like maybe points trackers or something. Would have liked to have seen plastic or maybe even metal coins, but I mean, I guess I can't complain. You can get standard gold coin stand-ins or something. But either way, oh, there's no hole in the bag. I was trying to push the air out of it. But those over there, and that's a fairly nice insert. It's not actually an insert, it's just a thing built into the box. And I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of neat because these cards will just fit in here this way. So that's kind of sexy. So we're gonna put that there. Um, Looks like we got a little bit of art. You know, the artwork of this game always reminded me of, uh, what is it, the Etrian Odyssey? Etrian Odyssey, however the heck you pronounce that. Uh, kind of always reminded me of that. So we're going to go ahead and cut this open. We're just going to briefly look at the dividers here. Because, yeah. So I don't remember much about Heart of Crown. I've just remembered that I had wanted to buy it numerous times and never did be in hopes that it would get an English release because paste ups are pain in the ass. So we're just going to kind of briefly look at these because we're going to be looking at the cards here in a minute anyways. So these are always fancy. I wonder if there's a randomizer deck, but you probably don't randomize. So who knows? Throw those right there. And yeah, we don't need those. So we'll just start with the backs of all of them are the same except for this. So we'll start with that unique one. Yep, that works. So let's get the trash box up here. And wait, I see it, but I can't get it. Oh God. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh no, it broke. God damn it. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
so. And the cards are kind of stuck together where they're brand new. What are you doing, lady? I was looking at the play mat. Yeah, they... Ooh, the cards feel really nice. Um, yeah, I think they pr sent me my uh, Tantacore International and my Heart of Crown. I'm just trying to break this stuff apart right now. There we go. Ooh, more Tantacore stuff. Yes. Yep. So, we'll just look at the backs. Blue. Looks like most of the card backings are red. So, we're going to quickly go over this because there are probably a million and a half cards. So, Alchemist, Royal Guard, the Curse Witch. Are those boobies? I think those are boobies. Um, you have to edit that? No, I don't. No? Probably not. Okay. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I get a flag. Yeah. And then I re upload it. It's artwork. Um, you know? So I'm guessing these are events. City deployment. Infantry battalion. Glamour witch. Hmm. And curse witch. This is curse witch again. Hmm. Neato. Oh, I just realized I'm going to have to go out and get a bunch of sleeves for this. Because I don't have sleeves. Come on. You see, I don't know if you can see it there. It's right there. And I can't get it off. Phrasing. Um, oh, you caught me before I did. Come on. I can't do it. There we go. I'll just do it that way. All right. So these ones aren't as stuck together as the last ones were. These ones are already pretty loose. So neato. Um, I'm guessing this is just your currency. Because from what I remember, this is uh, like is a deck builder, but it's like a center row deck builder, and it works a little differently. Um, apprentice maids, minus two points. Okay, is there? Sorry, just scratching my face. Um, I'm wondering why there's so many of them. Royal maids. Maybe you use the maids for something. <laughs> yeah, you do. Um, Senator. Yeah, there's. Yeah, he's worth three points. She's worth two. She's minus two. Maybe everybody starts with some uh, of those crappy maids in your deck. So we're gonna. Just, haha, that was easier. We're just gonna do it that way from now on. <laughs> that was much easier. And there we go. So more senators. A duke. Um, and again, all these cards, looks like the backs are all red, so they're all generic. Um, Imperial Capital, and Imperial Crown, and you have Curses. I'm not really sure what those are. And then, let's see, Contribution. Let's see, Post Horse. Nato. Man, I'm super hyped to try this one. Because I'd heard nothing but uh, really good things about it from certain re some reviewers like uh, Nick Mila Nick Nealahan and a couple others, and ugh, it's on my finger. But yeah, I, like I said, I almost uh, imported it numerous times, but it's good I didn't. I guess saved a little bit of money. Scouts, uh, ramparts. Is it government contractor? Draft notice. Slash and burn farming. Well, Jesus. Uh, trading ships. Battering rams. Burn. Or, <laughs> I forgot how to read. I said burned treasure. It was buried treasure. Because mm -hmm. I read good. It's the, what is it? The uh, Derek Zoolander Center for Children Who Can't Read Good. Bribery. Magic Talisman. The artwork in it is really pretty. And, oh, also, if you notice these little arrows, I remember something about being able to play these cards. You have to, like, play the the next card I can play, like, here, and then I can play, in this case, another card here. And you have to play them and create, like, this grid thing, and that dictates where you're able to play cards. And I'm going to try not to punch the camera again. That's what happens when the camera talks back. Oh, no. This one isn't opening as easy. Um, Need my help? Hang on. 
Oh, it's they did it on they reverse this one. They did it just to mess with me. Alright. Alright. I wonder what it was with that first deck. It like stuck together pretty hard. Shinobis. Nido. Uh, money la money lender? Oh, I thought it said launder. Uh, library. Stargazing Witch. You can grab one of those open ones if you want. Look to look cool. Okay. Uh, supply units. You looking forward to this one? I'm curious. Is it a deck builder? That... You like deck builders? Oh, it is a deck builder. Uh, it, from what I remember, yes. Oh, sweet. What is that? Adventures. And you're trying to like make your your princess the best princess. And I still have a lot of stuff to unbox because I have the two expansions. Oh, we won't and really be promise. able to play until Sunday. Unless you play it tomorrow night, but then I won't get to play it. No, we could play it, uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But, looks like, oh, it looks like we have the princesses here. So we have Princess General Flamiara. Uh, let's see, First Princess, I'm not going to bother pronouncing these. This <laughs> is the one that really makes me think, um, uh, Itchman Odyssey. But, let's see, Second Princess... I am very perturbed. This, there's, there's no ginger princess, and that makes me sad. Oh. Dang it! And then looks like these are probably the starting cards. Yeah, minus two victory points, and one gold. Yeah, village farming village. And then you're weird. <laughs> um, then yeah, just normal city. So you have two points. And it looks like that is it for the base game. So let's Expansion dive power. into the promos here. All right. So are these, yeah, these are just full art, looks like. So, well, I don't know, it's alternate art. Neato. Okay. So it looks like we got alternate art. Let's put that back there. Of some or maybe all. <laughs> what is that? Outskirts? I have no idea what that is. So, yeah, alternate art, neato. So, uh, we are going to keep these separate. Oh, you know what? The th not having a uh, an alternate or an insert that pulls out, usually stuff like the alternate art, I'll put in the game, but I'll put the original under the insert. That way, I don't risk losing it, but um, I don't accidentally mix it in with the game. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that with this. So let's go ahead and just kind of toss everything here and I'll sort everything after the video. And I need to go pick up some sleeves at some point. I may do that later today. I don't know. I might Amazon it and wait two days. So I probably won't get a chance to really play it until then. All right, so looks like with these, there's nothing fancy. It's just, and it looks like rule book. Maybe just adds, yeah, just Q and A. I'm guessing the introduction using, yeah. So looks like it probably doesn't add a whole lot, just a little extra, and then more of these dividers. So. Try that. <laughs> that did not work. So shrink wrapped anything is my arch enemy. There we go. And I th was thinking I I thought I had gotten the uh, the setup mat. I do know I got the video game uh, for when that comes out. So neato, neato bandito. Let's throw that over here and. Oh god, where is it? Hang on. Um, <laughs> I can't find it. Phrasing. I don't. Dang it. I don't know where it is. So, we're going to do that. Let's see what fancy things this one adds. And then we have the something of the north. Because the north remembers. Um, 
guess just a content card. Yeah, kind of what it looks like, so we'll throw that there. Um, looks like we have more princesses. Or just a princess. It's like the Far East princess. Then we have greedy fairies. Let's actually... Oh, wait a minute. These add... Okay, yeah, those are like the events or whatever. Okay. So... Like I said, we have Far East, Princess Sums Oka, or whatever. Then we have Greedy Fairies, probably come stealing your monies. Oh no! Hang on, Stan, er... Okay, no, I'll get those in a second. It, I, they're all just these guys. So, we got the Greedy, or the Carrier Pigeons. Levies. Neato. Trader. Neato. Really like the art. Archers. Uh, Apprentice Witch, Kunioki, Kuno, Kunioki, yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it, who knows, I'll probably get flack for that, Port City, uh, Samurai, uh, Mining Cities, let's see, Tallies, Confederation, and then looks like we have, whatever these events are, like, I don't get why these events are the exact same as the card, but we'll deal with that later, I guess. Um, and I'll just get those cards that fell after the unboxing. So I'm pretty sure all they were were just, uh, so now we have the Northern, but I'm pretty sure all they were were just those, uh, one card. Yeah, it just looks like it's Q and A's on exactly how some of the cards work and how to incorporate them in. So, throw that there as well. You have string cheese. Mm -hmm. String cheese is awesome. You got some? Uh, in a minute. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Boom. Oh, oh, or I'm going to throw a plastic that's stuck in my hand. So we got the plastic cards, and I think these are like Nordic or something, um, Nordic themed, and like last time all this is, is just a piece of cardboard, nothing fancy about it, and last but not least, these ones are shrink wrapped slightly more loose, like there's a lot, <laughs> um, I have the mind of a 12 year old, sorry. Um, you know, it's me more laughing than you. Yeah, I know. I was thinking it. So, I guess another content card. So, throw that over there. So, we have, looks like the Nordic Princess for the North, Anastasia. Those are boobies. Um, so, Dwarven Jeweler, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so we got uh, Noble Heiress. So now the question is, do we play this the first game without the expansions, or do we just go balls deep in just all of the expansions? So, Monopoly. Probably just all the expansions. Cat. Always balls deep. I thought it said Cat, Cat Synth, because I'm a nerd. Uh, Lucky Piece, was that a coin? Yeah, so it just looks like a coin. Um, baptism. Uh, cursed Doll. I was going to say Farmed Horse. <laughs> Elven Sniper. Neato. I was at Strife in the Court. Of course, you have to have... And then these weird cards, I don't get them. But, whatever. Anyways, that looks like that was everything for Heart of Crown and apparently Tantokori International as well. So, um, with Tantokori International, I did only get the... Um, the, what is it, tier? Yeah, the pledge tier that just came with promos and a playmat um, because I didn't really need anything else because where I have pretty much everything else Tanto Core. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Check me out on Patreon up there in the corner and down in the description. I also have a tip jar down, down there if you don't want to do the whole commitment like every month thing. Anyways, uh, any little bit helps. I'll see you guys next time in the quarantine.